stop wasting time on people who don't want you. Somebody's actions will usually reveal whether or not they truly want you, whether or not they want to include you in their life. Because if somebody reciprocates the effort that you put in, if they reach out to you to schedule dates, if they call you, if they text you, that usually tells you that this person is interested in you. But if you feel like you're putting in all the work or even a majority of the work, that's not a good sign. The truth is it will never be that difficult for someone who's actually right for you, for someone who actually wants you. If you feel like you're chasing someone, that person does not want you or they're playing stupid games. And if they're playing stupid games, you shouldn't want them because that tells you that this person is not very mature. So they would make for a horrible partner anyway. The important thing here is that whenever it's revealed that someone doesn't truly want you, you have to start choosing yourself. You have to put yourself first and let them go. I know that this sounds maybe a little bit harsh, especially to people pleasers, but it's a habit that you should start adopting sooner rather than later. Because no matter how much you like someone, if they don't want you, your feelings for them mean nothing. Truly, they mean nothing. At that point, all you're basically doing is giving them free attention and validation that they may continue to suck up from you without giving you anything in return because a lot of people enjoy that. They, many people have no incentive to let go of someone that they know likes them because of that free attention and validation. But you don't wanna be the person who's never getting anything back out of your effort. It's never worth it. So even if you are almost in love with someone, be willing to choose yourself if they don't want you. It's super important, guys. I mean, I see so many people say that when they really like someone, that they're head over heels for them, that they wanna keep putting in effort to keep that person in their life. But if that person is never reciprocating, what the hell are they contributing to your life anyway? They're contributing nothing. At that point, the only thing you have are the fantasies in your head of you and that person being together, but they're never going to be realized. If that person doesn't want you, those will remain fantasies forever. I know it sounds a bit harsh, but seriously, you have to be able to set that aside. Let go of those fantasies. I mean, I've even gotten into the habit of whenever I catch my brain creating those fantasies of me and a woman, I just I just like try to distract myself or ignore it or even tell those thoughts to go the hell away because they don't do you any favors. You need to pay attention to reality. And if somebody isn't reciprocating your effort, you need to focus on that because that's what matters. The fantasies in your head aren't real. So it's so important, guys. I mean, let me just share with you a few tips that will hopefully help you build yourself up to a place where making these decisions is easier for you because you just never want to be stuck giving all your time and effort and energy to someone who doesn't want you. So what you want to really work on, what will help you begin choosing yourself in the future is knowing your worth. And that is basically, it comes down to knowing yourself really well. So there's actually a practice I used to do quite some time ago that helped me tremendously with getting to know myself. And it's simply just sitting in the question of who am I and answering it as honestly as possible. The more that you do that, I used to do it every day. I think I did it right before bed most days. And it just helps you get to know yourself so well that you start to know your worth. You know what you bring to the table. You know what makes you different from others, what makes you unique. It basically helps you figure out your value because with it, you'll start to know certain qualities that you can contribute to a relationship. And that means if somebody isn't reciprocating your effort, you'll know that they're not worth your time because you have X, Y, and Z great qualities that this other person can't appreciate. So it just helps you get into the mentality of being able to choose yourself and let them go because they're not going to be worthy of you if they can't actually appreciate the good qualities that you have. So knowing yourself is super important. I highly recommend that habit to everyone. And another thing is just getting to a place where you respect yourself more. I mean, this is huge because if you're giving all your time and attention to someone who isn't returning your, your efforts and your energy, that's kind of, the more you do that, you're kind of showing that you don't really respect yourself that much because you're putting this other person before you and they're not even reciprocating. 
it's a waste of your time and energy. So the more that you do that, you're just kind of conveying to yourself that you don't even respect yourself. That's not good. So practice having more self-respect. And whenever you encounter people who do this, love yourself and respect yourself enough to say, hey, I'm not going to engage in this stupid behavior. If you're not going to reciprocate my time and energy, then I'm going to go find someone who will. And I understand that that's not always going to be the easiest thing to do, but there are people out there who will reciprocate. There are people who will like you enough that they'll want to include you in your life. So focus on finding those people. I mean, you see this quote all the time on the internet, and I like to use it a lot, but you should really focus on choosing people who also choose you. The rest of the people out there aren't worth your time because if someone's never going to choose you, you're literally, it's like talking to a brick wall at that point. Like that may even be a better use of your time because maybe talking to a brick wall will help you learn something about yourself. But these people, you don't, you won't get anything from them. If they're never going to choose you, then you have to choose yourself at some point. So that's pretty much all I have for you guys. It really comes down to just practicing that self-love more, being able to know your worth and your value and respecting yourself enough to choose yourself over these other people when they don't want you. You just don't want to spend any more time and energy on them because the more that you do that, the more you're going to lose respect for yourself. And with that, you'll lose your self-esteem too. It's just not worth it. Always focus on choosing people who also choose you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like content like this, be sure to subscribe for more. Otherwise, like the video and let me know your thoughts in the comment. That's the easiest way to engage with the algorithm and help me out. But otherwise, guys, remember, we're all on this journey together. The most important thing is that you just keep going, keep moving forward, and keep working on yourself enough so that you feel comfortable choosing yourself over these people who are never going to choose you anyway. They're just not worth your time and energy. But you are. I'll see you guys in the next video. Arrivederci!